Hi, this is Danny Lewis for Music Pro Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a subscription based sample library called Noise. So, this is a sample library that's integrated inside a VST plugin. I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to double click it, and you can see here that it's pretty much a search engine within a framework. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for something. I'm going to type in kick and then see what comes back. There is a filter section along the top, which allows you to basically take this list and filter it down. At the moment, it seems to be all the kicks. What I fancy doing is something a little bit along the lines of techno. Now, I know it's become a little bit of a cliche. It's almost like techno has become what Deep House used to be. And I'm talking about Deep House in inverted commas, okay? Um, let me take a look. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to click. Oh. Okay, that sounds wicked, but the thing is, is it's a loop. I want to go for one shots, so let me filter by one shots only. Let's take a look. So you can see what's going on here. I click in the list. We've got a playback section down below. I don't know what I want. But basically in this video, I'm going to do a composition session using just this plugin. Okay, there's something about that one I like. I like the fact that it feels really, really hefty. I'm gonna come up to the second MIDI track. I'm gonna go to drums and drum rack, and I'm gonna show you the great thing about this. So we can drag samples from down here, and we can drag samples into the actual window here and drop them as audio clips, or I could drag this onto the drum rack and load them. So here we go. This is gonna go onto the first free slot that's there. I've got my push set up. I'm sorry I haven't got the camera set up, but I'm just going to program some kicks. Now that's a very, very low frequency kick drum. Almost too much, I feel. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take tempo up. It's about 128. Okay, I've raised the pitch by three semitones. I prefer that. I'm just going to apply a little bit of a fade. Yeah, I like that. So let's get something else on the go. Coming back onto noise, I'm gonna click back here and I'm gonna filter by something different. I'm gonna go for clap. Let's see what we get. Something I quite like about that. Okay, um, let me drag this on. Whoa, okay, so <laughs> it's really instinctual actually. Um, let me find myself in the list again. I, I personally find that I'm very inclined to pick this up and want to drag it. Okay, but that's not the way this works. It's actually that you drag from down here. So I've got to really program myself to do that. Let's see what we've got. Okay, let's program some claps in. Okay, I like that. And let's supplement that with something else. So let's come back onto the list. I'm gonna take another clap. Literally, I'm just going random here. Finger snap. So I think this is actually a text search. That's what's going on. So it's looking for the word clap in the file name. Although I'm seeing here, we do have some definitions. So there, there is some metadata. I wonder if we can search by this column. I'm gonna take a look. So type one shots. I don't seem to have the ability to, unless it's in this list here. So I've got to say, this is partly a discovery session here. Ah, so we have in the instrument list, the individual drum sounds. So if I focus on the metadata here, and we've got a list in the instrument column of claps, something really energetic I like about that. So once again, dragging up onto the next slot. I feel like I should do that as something every now and again. It doesn't feel like it's some uh, something that's like a regular programming element. Okay, now that is a very kind of dry, old school kind of clap. Let me see if I can fit that in and do something with it. So listen.
triggering this one in, all right? So that's working. At the moment this is all dry, I haven't added any, uh, I'm not adding any effects. Let's come back and um, I think that's probably enough for the claps now. Actually, one thing I want to try is whilst I'm down in the, the list, so to save me going back up to the top, I'm going to see if I can search something new up here. I can. So it scores me back up to the top of the window. So that's a nice bit of interface design. Let's get a tambourine. Let's see if we can do an abbreviation here. Now, bear in mind, I have the instrument filter set to clap. So make sure you're aware of these things. Let me come on to tambourine. And let's take a look. Ah, interesting. So my search criteria for TAMB came out with nothing. Um, my instrument came out as nothing. So I think the reason behind this is because of the techno filter. So if I take this off, there we go. So my hunch was correct. I've done a lot of software testing and um, there's, there's a lot of things that go through my mind when I'm looking at plugins. So um, some of this stuff, you might be thinking to yourself, well, why is he thinking that? But literally, I have been through so many applications and um, I, ha I have tested stuff rigorously. So um, this is kind of second nature, really. Okay. So despite these being one shots, some feel kind of loopy. Now, there's something about that I like. I like the idea. Well, here we go. I was trying. I'm getting carried away again. I'm getting carried away. Let me come back to the drag audio. Um, so noise, you may want to try to integrate that uh, drag from the search list. Technically, it may not be possible. I understand that, you know, coming from the software development world as well. So let's have a look. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to program something on the push again. And uh, let's have a listen. Yeah, it says good vibe going on there. Now, I think I should get a tom of some kind. Let me see what's going on here. And these samples are coming from specific libraries. Okay. Um, let me just also so, sort my filter out here. So bear in mind, you could really restrict yourselves um, by the setting on this filter. If I take that off, let's now do a text search on tom and see what comes up. Okay, that may be a bit low frequency. But there's something I like about it. I might have to pitch that one up. So I'm going to drag this over. Yeah, let me transpose. Go take the warping off. Let's have a listen. I've got going on there. It's got a nice kind of swingy kind of texture. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, what about something like a ride? So let's see what we got going on. So bear in mind, like I said, I've taken my instrument filtering off. I'm using text string searches now. great collection of samples here. I kind of feel like it might be cheating just to go with the straight up 909 ride. Let's try some others. I mean, that's kind of 909 again, isn't it? Um, okay, I'm going to go with that. Um, let's see how this one sounds. So, um, Okay, what have I done? Let me just come back to the rack itself. I was on the MIDI editor there, so let's just do this. Let's drag this down. And what do we got? Okay. Uh, 
Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to mash that up a bit. So I want that to sound a little bit more um, distorted. Just going to set the overdrive here. Let's have a listen. So what I'm trying to do is just mash that up a bit. So just rebalancing a few things there and I think it's sounding really good. So what do I need now on top? I need something new and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a new MIDI track and this time I'm going to create a simpler as an instrument and we're going to bring this uh, back on so we're going to get noise and I'm going to look for something different. So this time I'm going to search for chord. Now that's a really broad category, isn't it? So genre, let's go back. I don't know what we're gonna get in terms of techno, but let's take a look here. Okay, now I'm feeling something a bit different actually about this. I might just take this, if I stop that, I'm gonna drag that on as audio. So I'm gonna bring this on here and I'm gonna find a section that I like the sound of. I'm just gonna get this looping. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, so I think that's sounding good. I just wanted to catch this bit here too. So what's interesting about that is, is it's it's not in a regular bar cycle. So that's creating this interesting movement um, with the sound. I think it's working. Just gonna experiment the tuning. So ultimately, I'm not feeling that that's working. All right, let's go back. Let's see what else we got. Sometimes you have to just dip in, see what happens and get out quick. You know, that felt initially it might work. Okay, something interesting about this. I like the idea of, and you saw me dragging that thing up again. I like the idea of some kind of mysterious texture in the background. Um, let me see what this sounds like. Okay, now that's interesting. Because you've got a constantly moving cycle. And the other thing that I might do is add some movement to that. Let's get the compressor. And just run all of those beats through.
Yeah, okay, so that's like a, a bit of tension that's coming in the background. All right, so we start off with this. And then... So that's working nicely. Let me get something new. And, uh, you know, this is really just exploring potential. I've noticed actually the musical key is embedded within the, uh, the actual sample name. Now, some of you might want to use that. But I'm going to try and pick something by ear that I like the sound of. Okay, let me see what I can do with that on that simpler. Ah, here we go, this drag. Okay, then we go into classic mode. Take the warp off. Okay, let me just do something here. Let me just copy this scene. And then, let's record this in. Let me get that playing. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, just for the moment, duplicate that a couple of times. And then what I'm gonna do is get in here, get some reverb. Okay, now it's a little while since I've done this. I'm trying to remember how I can actually record that in. I think maybe it's this plus sign. All right, so I've been shifting around my doors a bit and uh, this is something that I haven't done for a while. So I'm gonna see if I can automate, automate the decay time whilst it's playing. Wicked, so that actually worked, didn't it? And um, I am just trying to remember where does this information go? Um, so if I click on the E, there we go, you can see it. All right, wicked. I got no idea where I'm heading with this track, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new simpler and go back onto noise and see what we got. Uh, maybe another texture. Maybe that could work. I'm not really thinking about having that whole kind of ambient journey going on. I'm thinking about maybe just changing that start point. Just taking away that click at the front of the sound, the attack, the envelope here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that feels like it's working. So you can see, you know, the, the great thing about this noise thing is that it's an unlimited collection of samples from their library. And so this gives me ultimate freedom, really. So um, let me see what else I want to do. Let me get a vocal. Um, Vox, I don't think it's going to work if I just say vocal. But then again, actually, this might be where smart use of the filter may come in. So if I come down here, what have we got? Vocals. So my text search is going to be clear. I'm literally going to go through the list of all the vocals. You know, a lot of us struggle with finding vocals, don't we? Um, I wonder how many are here. Let me take away the techno and uh, see what we've got going on. So filter is vocals and one shots. Yeah. I'm not really looking for anything soulful whatsoever. Waited. Information. Information. Okay. This computer voices category could be good. Key. Keys. Information. Informations. Okay, I like the sound of that. I might just bring that through as straight up audio. Um, let me just bring some of these down. In fact, why don't I just take that and duplicate it and then bring this up? Okay. Um, let me have a play around with the loops. Information. Information. In fact, let's get a loop in there. Um, okay, yeah, let me just walk this and put the loop on. So anyway, that's it. That's the demonstration. So using the noise plugin to access the subscription sample library. So it's a very inspirational way to certainly cover styles of music that you wouldn't normally cover because uh, I bet you a lot of the time when you're buying sample libraries, you'll focus on the genres that are more appropriate to you. If you're into making music for media, this sort of stuff's like a gold mine because you're gonna get different requests for different styles. So here you've got a really abundant set of samples that you can just get in and start composing with right in the middle of your DAW instead of having to download these things separately. Okay, so big up noise. I think this is a really um, a great way to um, get in there and compose it. It's a really tidy little interface. You've already seen my gripes in terms of the UI. I definitely would like to be able to drag and drop from the list of results. Maybe there's a way to do that that I'm not aware of. Um, so if anybody's got any comments and the experience, put it down in the area underneath. Okay, so that's it for the moment. I'll speak to you soon.